Nothing says springtime in Georgia quite like the state's signature fruit. And consumers will be happy to know that harvest is now in full swing on a peach crop that is sure to satisfy their demands. Peaches are looking good. I mean, we're all, it's always good when you ride, ride down the road this time of year and you can see peaches on the tree, whether they're green or whether they're red, you know. Uh, we're always fighting cold weather and, and other weather events. So the fact that we made it through our cold in March and April, you know, we're, we're really happy. Looks well, really good. Um, we, we're having um, good bricks. Uh, peaches taste great. And um, they're, they've suffered through an a interesting winter and an interesting spring, but at the end of the day, it's a, it's a Georgia peach and it's fantastic. While unpredictable weather conditions were a cause for concern during growing season, avoiding a late cold snap after blooming provided maximum yield on this year's crop. We had May weather in March, and we're having March weather in May. Um, so it's, it's been a difficult spring for the trees, which is odd, um, but we didn't have a freeze. So as long as we don't have a freeze, we, we set fruit and it, it, uh, we, can, we can make peaches. I mean, we've, I, I think we've had, we've had a late freeze or a, a March freeze probably four out of the last five years. So just having that freeze in, in late February was really nice. As for the all important chill hours, almost all of the peaches got the minimum requirement despite a warmer than normal winter. Most Fridays got enough. We were maybe a little marginal on our real high chillers, but um, for, for the most part, you know, we bloomed well. We came out with leaves. Leaves came on right after bloom. So, I mean, we had a really good bloom. It's been a really clean crop. You know, we've not seen any bacterial spot for, to amount to much in, in many, most places. Uh, so really, it's been a good looking year, even though we had so much rain in, you know, March and April. With the growers now heading down the home stretch, they're looking for temperatures to rise in order to enhance the flavor before picking. Uh, we need we need peaches to have a little bit of heat so they can get sweet and uh, and swell up and come on when we need them to, um, and it's you know normally that's right now 85 to 90 degrees and um, yesterday afternoon it was 56 so that's not it's just slowing everything down um, so we need to get a little bit warm but not too hot. Of course, harvest season can't take place without the labor force, which fortunately wasn't a problem despite the pandemic. It has in thing, precautions that were taken, but we really had no problems um, with our people coming in and, and getting enough uh, of our contract laborers to get here. And despite the slowing economy, the demand for peaches appears to not have been greatly affected. It, it's looking really good right now. Um, we have a, a good crop. We're always worried about uh, finding enough homes for it, but right now the grocery store sales have been up. Um, we don't typically run a whole lot of peaches through food service because they're so um, perishable. Um, it's a real tight time, tight timeline, and right now all the demand has been, uh, I would say, better than better than usual. Reporting from Peach County, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.